meteorologist Sarah Gannon. Well, we certainly capped off our Tuesday on a very beautiful note. Mother Nature putting on quite the show this evening with those sunsets. So I wanted to take a minute here and show you a couple viewer photos. Courtney is sending in this awesome photo of the sunset this evening in Saratoga, Iowa. Beautiful, vibrant colors out there this evening. Another one coming in from the Millville area. Dan sending in this awesome photo. So big thank you to our viewers for sharing with us those great photos. You can join our KTTC weather photo community group on Facebook. It's an awesome spot, great spot to share those weather photos, sunsets and garden gallery come springtime. As we head into the rest of tonight, though, conditions looking to remain pretty quiet, but we're tracking more warmth on the way here for the rest of the week. Temperatures returning to the 40s tomorrow and they look to sit there for the next several days. Now by Christmas, looking a little bit ahead now, we're just six days away from Christmas and looking to see because of those warm temperatures, our next weather maker is set to arrive and that means rainfall this time around instead of snowfall, which is what we typically see. So when we look out ahead there, still a few days to figure out and kind of pinpoint exact details on the on this particular system. But for now, anticipating some isolated showers there for your Sunday and Monday. So it's it'll we'll look at a wet Christmas this year. So I wanted to dig back a little bit in those record books. When was the last time we had rainfall in the Rochester area on Christmas? We normally have snowfall this time of the year. So digging back back in 1982, so decades ago was the last time we had measurable rainfall in the Rochester area and we measured just under four tenths. Now on Christmas Day, a little bit more recent back in 2019. We had some drizzle in the area and that did amount to about three hundredths of an inch of rainfall there for Christmas Day. So it's been quite a while since we've had measurable rainfall in the Rochester area for at least Christmas Eve. But because of how warm our temperatures are going to be here in this upcoming week, we're anticipating to see rainfall as our main precipitation type here with this next round of weather. Temperatures here looking to settle into the 40s by tomorrow and even upper 40s as we head towards Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So that means this upcoming week, next six, seven days, temperatures will range around 15 to 25 degrees above average. So a very mild holiday season is in store for us, potentially record breaking as well. By Christmas Eve, our record high for that day, December 24th, is 41 degrees, and our record high for Christmas Day, uh, December 25th, is 50 degrees. So our temperatures, which are anticipated to be into the upper 40s and possibly even some low 50s in some of our warmer locations, look to break or potentially uh, challenge those high temperatures. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out here in the next couple of days. Outside, though, things are quiet here for this evening as we check in with your Lewis Nottle live camera downtown Rochester there. Cloud cover gradually clearing out. Temperatures now cooling off upper 20s in Mason City, looking at low 30s area wide. Wind speeds a little bit breezy, anywhere from around 5 to 15 miles per hour. But we've got a little bit of some upper level cloud cover still lingering around here in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. We will look to see that push out of the area move east as the night progresses. So anticipating clearing skies as we head towards tomorrow morning. Tomorrow will be the best day to get out because we will have sunshine all day long and this will likely be our only day of the next several days that we'll see sunny skies. So high temperatures tomorrow, upper 30s, low 40s. Then the cloud cover rolls back in there for Thursday and it looks to sit there at least through the holiday weekend. So it'll be a while before we see that sun again. Get out and enjoy it tonight. We'll see high temperatures there into those low 20s, so a little bit warmer than average, but overall pretty quiet evening. As for tomorrow, anticipating some great sunshine, mild temps there with highs in those low 40s. Here's a look at that seven day forecast again. Tomorrow will be the best day to get outside, get out and enjoy it. It'll be the only day with sun and then we track our next weather maker arriving just in time for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day on Sunday and Monday.